Hi guys, Laura here. I'm back to do another day of book myths. Right now we're on day 15 of book myths. We are officially in 2021. I'm still filming this in 2020, but I hope 2021 is looking good and bookish. Um, but today's topic is the top middle grade reads that I'm excited to read in 2021. Um, this is a mix of first books in the series, but also sequels, because I had a few of those that I just wanted to chat through. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. The first book we're going to chat about is a book from the Rick Riordan Presents line, and that is City of the Play God, and it comes out January 5th, I believe. Sorry, small correction. This book actually comes out January 12th, um, but it is the best-selling author Rick Riordan Presents presents City of the Play God, an adventure based on Mes an ancient Mesopotamian mythology written by Charette Jones, author of the Ash Misty series. Um, and basically, this features gods, goddesses, importantly Muslim heroes, and own voices tale, eerily echoing our pandemic present, but readers will find escape in its entertaining battles of apocalyptic settings with irrelevant humor. I always look for these books to kind of make me laugh, but also go on adventure, and it does have elements of a pandemic in nature which I know some people are trying to shy away from, but I think for kids it might actually be a nice escape to kind of have conversations about that. Um, so this one um, follows a 13-year-old Silk who wants a simple life, um, but he doesn't know his life's about to be both thrown to smithereens when a creature comes looking for him, um, and he thinks that Silk holds the secret to internal life. Turn out Silk is immortal but doesn't know it, and that's about to get him and the city into deep, deep trouble. Um, and he kind of cross paths with another character who's the goddess of war. Um, and they have to, all they have to do is retrieve the flower of immortality to save Manhattan from being wiped out of, out by disease. To succeed, they have to conquer Sly Beam and Treacherous Gods and their own darkest nightmares. Set in New York City, I'm a big fan of books set in New York City. For the foreseeable future, I can't go to New York City, and there are quite a few books on my TBR that are, like, set in New York City, so I'm really excited. This is another Rick Riordan Present book that I'm super excited for, and I will definitely be checking it out. I actually do have an early copy of this one, so hopefully I'll be reading it in early January. This book we are going to talk about is The World Between Blanks from Amy Kaufman and Ryan Graben. Um, and this book, according to my notes, comes out January 5th, but if I'm wrong, I'll let you guys know on the other side of this picture. I have read so many book summaries in, like, the past couple of weeks, like, when I've been doing this that have to do with, like, cousins, both in, like, contemporary but also fantasy novels. And this is another book that has to do with cousins, and it also has to do with time travel. I love Amy Kaufman's writing. I really like Ryan Crowd, and the one book I read by her um, I really enjoyed. And it just follows these two kids as they wind up getting sucked into this time traveling world. And it just sounds fun. I haven't read too much of the summary, but just time travel, middle grade, I'm hooked. Two authors I really enjoy. Totally here. Comes out early January. We'll definitely be getting a copy of this book because I don't currently have an ERC yet, but I'm definitely going to get a copy. Sounds great and sounds like a perfect easy start to 2021. The next book I'm really excited to chat about is Bridge of Souls by B.E. Schwab. This is, or Victoria Schwab, I can't remember which one it is because she changes her name depending on what type of population she's writing for, but this is the third Cassidy Blake book. And I was so bummed that this, bu this book got pushed because it was supposed to come out during the like Halloween season, but it got pushed due to the pandemic, I think. Um, but I'm really excited to finally get around to reading it. Here's the cover. I don't know much about this book. I don't want to know much about this book, but I know that they're going to New Orleans, which I love as a setting. I think it's so eerie and so creepy, and I still do read creepy books in the winter, especially when it's, like, creepy outside and it's raining and it's snowing, so really excited to dive into this one. I really like the first two. I thought it was a nice balance between eerie and creepy, but not too scary. I am not a big horror fan, but I really have enjoyed the series and can't wait to find out what happens to Cassidy and Jacob next. The next book I'm going to chat about is a book that I was gift was given to me by the publisher, but it is really exciting and is The Accidental Apprentice by Amanda Booty.
and both Bridge of Souls and The Accidental Apprentice. It does come out in March, by the way. Um, but this is just a book that really caught my eye when they sent it to me. It's a boy who accidentally bonds with a magical beast and sets off an adventure in the mysterious woods in the whimsical, cheeky, middle grade fantasy debut perfect for the fans of Nevermore and Try Not to Train Your Dragon. And the full title is Wild Lore, The Accidental Apprentice. Um, and I really... I really like books that have to deal with animals, magical creatures, so this one sounds like will probably be a very, very quick read, but one that I'm really enjoying, and I can't wait for, I can't wait until I get around to reading it, so. The next book I want to chat through really quickly is The Winterborn Book 2 by Allie Carter. This is another middle grade series that I am in the middle of reading and really excited about it. Here's a bitch. I got a copy of this book, I think, from New York City Comic Con last year, and it was like a mashup between Batman and Annie, which sounds a little bit bizarre, but I will have you know it's adorable and a really, really fun read. I can't wait to get my hands on the sequel. I like the first one. I'm just hoping that book two kind of develops the things that, like, like the thoughts a little bit more, because I think it will be a really, really strong series, but it was super enjoyable and definitely excited to read book and another one of the um, Rick Riordan Presents novels that I want to chat about that is coming out in May is The Last Fallen Star by Gracie Kim. I've said this before, I really, really like, mag like magic and witch books. And this book it follows a girl named Riley O., oh who she's basically an adopted Korean girl who discovers her heritage and her magic on a perilous journey to save her witch clan family. Um, and that just sounds really, really cute. I really like the Rick Riordan Presents line. I love what Rick Riordan does. He's definitely one of those authors that goes above and beyond to really support other authors, and I really enjoy that. And I love that he's created this imprint. I don't even know need to know anything else about the imp like this book. I'm just going to pick it up because it sounds great, and I just hope that I enjoy it. I have read a lot of his imprints. I definitely want to make it a goal in 2021 to catch up on more of them. But again, a really, really solid summary that has definitely caught my interest for sure. And again, this comes out in mid, um, early May, early May, May 4th. And another book I'm going to chat about in this video is also um, Legend of the Realm by Alexandra Ott, which is the sequel to Seeker of the Realm, which I read by Alexandra Lott in 2020. And I really liked it. So here's the cover. The only thing I know about this book is it is a direct sequel, it's not a companion, so you do follow the same characters, which I'm really excited to see how they like expand the world and build it up a little bit better. Um, I thought the world was super cool, like the characters, I just thought it was a really, really fun novel that just really, really captured my attention, and I'm really excited to see what happens to the characters next. Simon Pol um, Aladdin from Simon is definitely one of my favorite YA imprint novels because they really do build such fun worlds and such fun characters and the, their authors are incredible. So I'm really excited to see what this author comes up with next. This book is much later in the year. It is in September um, and it's coming out. It's called Maya and the Return of the Godlings, which is a sequel to Maya and the Rising Dark that I read at some, at some point in 2020. I liked it. I thought it was an interesting take on mythology. Um, I like the mythology that was built. It sounds like an interesting concept for a novel. I don't have a cover yet, but I will definitely be adding this to my TBR in September because it sounds perfect and it's a, probably a great creepy and eerie read to read right around um, the fall, which is when I read it last time and I really, really liked it. Um, and then the last book that's going to wrap up this reading vlog, I hope we get the final well, one more Kingdom Keeper of the Lost Cities book. Um, I still haven't read my book eight, book 8.5 that I'm in the middle of reading, but I have heard rumors that book nine is coming out in November. So I really hope that we get another, um, another installment of the story. It took me two years to finish the series. I still need to fully catch up, but I really am loving that series. I think it might be tied with Harry Potter and Percy for one of my favorite middle grade worlds because it's just so fun. Um, I really hope you guys like the breakdown. Um, Just as a preface, some of these dates might change, especially because of publishing being so weird right now, just with all the pandemic stuff. But I hope that the dates still change. I hope that they don't get pushed too much. Let me know in the comments what are some books you are really, some middle grade books that you're really excited for. And, we'll, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow for another video.